Arma 3 is a, a combined arms military game for the PC. It's, a, it's about authentic military combat, it's about a diversity, a huge sandbox of, of military weapons and vehicles, and it's about having a, a very open approach to, to experiencing massive terrains and very diverse types of missions and, and, and different little scenarios that you can be put into and enjoy what it is to be challenged to complete objectives without being told exactly how to do things. Apex is a, it's sort of a culmination of, of, of three years of development. Um, we started back in 2013 with, with Arma 3's original launch and ever since then we've been building on the platform. Uh, we've been adding new features, new content, tutorials to help people get oriented and Apex sort of represents the culmination of all of this effort. Um, we see it as sort of the, the best release of an Arma game we've, we've ever done. Yeah, so Apex comes with uh, this new co-op campaign we think of it as a, a sort of, it's a good place to start to get oriented. It's a one to four players, uh, roughly f six to eight hours, uh, and it puts you in the boots of these special force operators. You've been deployed to Tanoa in response to a, a humanitarian disaster. You find yourself up against this uh, local criminal force, this uh, syndicate. Um, so to begin with, you're trying to, to stop them, to, to sort of restore order to this uh, independent South, South Pacific nation. And along the way, things get a little bit more complicated. Tanoa is a, it's a completely new kind of place for us to explore. It's a South Pacific archipelago, lots of little islands, different types. Um, it's a very varied terrain. Um, you have the, the history of it, some, some of the farming and agriculture. Um, some of the local buildings, and then you have some of the industry, the heavy mining and the port facilities. It follows on the story of, uh, of Eastwind, the original campaign in Armour 3, but you don't need to know anything about that. It's its own story, and it, it touches upon what's happened, and it maybe brings a conclusion to Armour 3's sort of canon. But if you've never played it, you can jump straight in, and it's a great place to start. Armour 3 has a, a big library of vehicles and weapons and that sort of thing. So it was about, for us, it was about finding new things to add to that. So the weapons, the 30 new weapons, um, it sort of represents some, some old classics, some things that we, we wanted to add and the community have wanted us to add, things like some AKs, some RPGs, familiar, recognizable things, but also some sort of cutting edge or, or slightly different kind of technology. Uh, we have our special forces and, and they have some, some cool new toys to play with. So it's this interplay between old and new. And with the vehicles, with the 10 new vehicles, again, new classes of gameplay. We don't want to just sort of have a new skin of, of what we've already had, but uh, add these VTOLs. So that's something that which we haven't had in Armour 3. We've had it in the past, but uh, these are much different. They're huge, they can have vehicles inside them, what we call our vehicle-vehicle transport feature. Uh, and it is a new type of gameplay, it can create new kinds of scenarios. Um, and on the other hand, you have something like our light strike vehicles. These are like these little, sort of lightly armored, wheeled vehicles. Uh, you know, you can sort of fit you and three of your buddies in there. Everyone's in a position where they can fire out the side of the vehicle. It gives people things to do when they're sort of in transit. So yeah, it was about what can we do to really add or extend the, the, the library of content that we've got. I think what stands out most about Apex compared to what we've seen before is the, the audio uh, visual fidelity. Uh, we had a, a big lighting upgrade, um, new sea shaders, reflections. We, we did a lot of work on our audio engine. So you get into Tanoa now, you explore in the jungles, um, you really, it, it feels much more positional. You have a sense of the environment around you, a sense of the weather changing and the thunder rolling over your head. Um, it feels, well, it feels much more epic in, in many ways. I guess it's a time for people to come back and see what's changed, uh, what's new, what's, what's been improved and refined. Uh, and also if, if players haven't you know, pulled the trigger on ever playing Armour before, I think now is, you know, there's never been a better time to, to first experience it. We've been on the, the road to Apex for, for a long time, for, for a number of years, and along the way our community have really helped us out with testing and providing feedback and ideas and just sort of keeping us going. Uh, so, we always want to say thank you for that. It's inspiring, it keeps us, it keeps us going, it keeps us in the game. Um, and in a few days time when Apex releases, uh, yeah, it's going to be a proud moment for us and we hope you really enjoy it and we can't wait to, to play all the, the community created content that's, that's going to roll out hopefully. Um, thanks and you know, see you on Tanoa.